Okay, so I finally got my new trailer. Truth be told, it's the first vehicle, if you want to call it that, of the hundreds, maybe in the thousands of vehicles I've owned that I've ever bought new from a dealer. So it's kind of special to me. But before we can start using it, we have some stuff we got to put on it to make it useful. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is mount some spare tires for our trailer. I always carry two spares for both the truck and the trailer. And I have on a few occasions had to use both of the spares for the trailer on one trip. Now we're going to put our spare tire mount on. One is welded on. This one is actually a PJ accessory. The bracket on the bottom I actually put on backwards. I put it on the same way the dealer had it, but they had it backwards. If you turn it around so that the L faces the body of the trailer, it doesn't wobble around. But I took this off about three times for this project, so on the last time I got it right. I'm going to pound in the studs for the other spare. Okay, we're going to turn all of that into a mount for those. And because I don't have the heart to start grinding and welding on my brand new trailer, we're going to make this a bolt-in application. Okay, so we got our lower support beam in here. Uh, I measured it all out front to back, make sure that it's nice and straight. It took me forever, so I clamped it up. Now I'm gonna drill my holes so that I never have to measure it again. And then I'll mark the ends here and I'll cut both of the extra pieces off at each side so it'll be flush with the edge. Now, as you might be able to tell by all the trailer glitter all over my shirt, we got those holes drilled out. So now we're just gonna cut the extra. Now we're going to cut a couple end pieces to weld to the end of our 3 inch channel that's going to make the base for our winch. Why well, stop there? I just cut the rest of the pieces for the project all at one time. Now we got all of our pieces cut. We got our two end pieces, we got our flat pieces, and we have our vertical pieces. I notched out the ends so that they will fit right inside here. And I'll just weld all that up, both sides. And then I'll weld these flat on the other end so that we can drill a bolt into the front of our trailer. Now the fun begins.
Weld inspection. How'd I do? The little red arrow looking thing there, that's a magnet. It holds the metal at 90 degree angles. It's really a valuable tool when you're fabricating stuff like this. Weld inspection. We marked our holes where our bracket's gonna bolt. So now we're gonna drill them out. I drill these holes, I drill a pilot hole, then I step it up a little bit. And then I think I drilled it out three times before I got to the size I wanted. It's just a lot easier than trying to drill a big hole all at one time. It saves drill bits. Now we got it where we want it. We're gonna tack it up to that bracket on the bottom. Now we're gonna pull it off and weld it up the rest of the way. Weld inspection. Now that we have our winch mount all built, we're gonna build the battery tray to go underneath it. Now we're going to weld our battery tray to our winch mount. Now we're going to drill some holes in our bracket for the hold down. Okay, so I made some brackets. To go to the upper support from the back of the battery tray we made. It's probably pretty secure, this is probably overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I was standing on here and it didn't move at all, but the battery does weigh almost 60 pounds and bouncing around in there for years. I don't want it to break these welds, so I'm going to add a little support so it's not just hanging on this angle iron. And then they're going to be welded to that the top support bar, so they just go straight up to the top. It's just one inch flat stock that I've bent the edges so that it will fit flush on each side and I can weld it up. Now we're going to measure it all. If it's in the right spot, we'll weld it up. Now we're going to weld on some brackets for our deck lights. Uh, one on each side and then we'll grind all the rest of the welds down. I ground these down because it'll be hard to get to this once I weld this bracket on. So I went ahead and did that. But all of our welds down here and everywhere else except for the inside welds will be ground down like this and then we're going to send it out and have it powder coated. Now we're going to mask off the deck and we're going to paint the trailer, the deck anyway. That's deck paint. It's got sand in it to give me a little traction when I'm trying to pull cars up on it. I was able to find this toolbox uh, that was perfect, well almost perfect, it would have been perfect if it was just about a quarter of an inch shorter. For what I need it for, it'll work great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the winch inside here to keep it out of the weather. Uh, so it'll be kind of protected. And I'm also going to have a place for my switches for the lights that I'm going to install. Keep them out of the weather. And I'll have a little more space for tie downs and whatever else I carry with me in my trailer. So now that i found this brand new toolbox, uh, the next thing we're going to do is cut the front of it so that we have a place for the cable to come out. Put some holes in the bottom so we can bolt the winch down through it. And that's it. So the first thing we're going to do is throw our bracket for our winch in here, we mark all the holes, and then once they're all marked, start drilling them out. So we got a couple of our holes drilled at the bottom here. Now we're going to drill the main ones for the winch out. Uh, we'll have a few more 
for wires and stuff, but I can drill those after this is all mounted. And that's good. That's going to kind of change depending on where I need them. Drilled some holes in the four corners. And then we'll, so we can get our saw in there and we'll just cut the rest of it out. So we got our winch mount back from being powder coated. I did bevel these edges off because I don't want to whack my shins on them. So that'll soften the blow a little bit. These edges too, in case I'm ever underneath the trailer. I will find a way to smash my head on it. So at least it won't hurt quite as bad. So now we're all ready for the fun part. Putting it all together. Would have been nice to have a little help here, but nobody was around. It was early Sunday morning. the roller fair lead on there. Now we're going to feed the winch cable through the fair lead and then drop the winch down in there. Now we're going to install our deck lights. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. These are their 5 inch LEDs. There's a set I'll have for the deck up here and also for the ramps in back. They also sent me a set of LED headlights for the truck which I'll install later. A link to all the stuff that I used is down below as well as a link to their website to buy all kinds of lights for different cars and trucks as well as different accessories. Okay, welcome to the bottom of the trailer. I drilled these holes earlier, so now I'm just gonna mount these lights. We'll ground it to itself. And then we can just adjust them where we want them. So that they're shining back underneath the trailer. And tighten up the Locking screws in the back. That's the controller for the winch. Now we're just going to drill and rivet in our custom switch bracket here that I made. It's made out of aluminum. Gave me a little practice. I kind of bent the edges over and welded them up. The shop I rent had a new aluminum welder, so I gave it a try. Uh, maybe I'll have a video on how to use it uh, as soon as I figure out how to use it. But it was enough to hold it together and it gave me some practice and I don't want to use metal in here because it's an aluminum toolbox and the two different metals just don't get along. So I made it out of aluminum. I actually had it painted in the uh, paint color lottery. I handed it to the painter and said just paint it whatever color you're painting the next car. Uh, so it could have been just about any color. Luckily there are no pink cars in the shop so it ended up being white. 
fine with me. The switches are going to go in here just like this. Oh, this is supposed to stay. I'll rivet that in so my switches will be in here. I'll wire everything up and we'll be all set. When I'm driving across the country to pick up these cars at the auctions, uh, I generally like to travel at night uh, to avoid traffic. So the guys over at Oxbeam sent me some LED headlights for my truck. It's supposedly a lot brighter than the originals. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in. They're plug and play, although on my truck, I do have to customize the brackets a little bit to make a little extra room for the bulbs that are quite a bit larger than the originals. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how, super simple. Now my truck is a 03 to 07 Silverado classic 1500 2500 3500 it's all the same the top shield just had some plastic clips in it the grill just pulls off so there's the two different ones these are the LEDs we got to make a little extra room for. And there's the original ones. So we got our headlight bracket here and our bulbs are going to go right about here. So we're just going to take a hole saw and drill it out, make it big enough for the bulb to fit in. So it'll fit right inside. So you can see we drilled the holes in there. Hopefully they're in the right spot. If not, we can just ream them out a little bit. Push the new ones in. The backs are adjustable so that you can move the wire wherever you need. All right, now, hopefully we've got it in the right spot. Got our holes in the right spot. Just snap the grill back in. And we'll put the close out panel on. Check the lights, we're all set. That simple. And those lights, they're pretty bright. So again, a big thanks to Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. Uh, drop me a comment if you think there's something else I should do to my trailer, or if you think there's something I should have done differently. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked the video. Share it if you think somebody else might. Subscribe if you aren't already. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.